The XFL just announced that it has struck a multi-year deal with multiple big networks to host their league at the top of 2020. ABC, Fox, and ESPN are all on board as the XFL is gearing up for its kickoff just one week after the Super Bowl. As the NFL goes into its offseason, in will come the XFL, and they are ready to thrive this time around after learning from their previous mistakes and also the mistakes of the AAF. The fact that they have all of these big networks on board means that they will be able to get their product in front of everybody who wants to see it. Also, with these networks being on board, you have to think that the XFL has all of their ducks in a row this time around after how bad the league failed over a decade ago. And with the whole AAF debacle, they now have no competition, they don't have to compete for viewers. The NFL and the NCAA will be in their offseason, so all the XFL has to do is put a good product on TV and people who are hungry for year-round football will watch. The AAF kind of tried to beat the XFL to market, and they didn't really have enough money to sustain its product. Something that shouldn't be a problem for the XFL as we all know how deep Vince McMahon's pockets are. And again, learning from where they went wrong the first time should undoubtedly put them in a much better position to succeed this time around. Last time they kind of dove headfirst into creating a football league, whereas this time they've had many years of planning to make sure it's done properly. There's also something to be said for how different the XFL is attempting to be. They don't want to be anything like the NFL, they want to be the XFL. Whereas the AAF, while it did have a lot of different rules in the NFL, it was still more closely resembling NFL football. As long as its on-field talent is good enough, the XFL should have a chance to carve out a nice lane for themselves. So where does this leave us in terms of a future XFL video game? Now under normal circumstances, I don't think people would be dying for an XFL video game, but with EA being the only company that puts out an NFL game, there is an audience that would love to have another football option that more closely resembles the NFL than something like Mutant Football League. Now I've done a video on the NFL exclusive license, which I'll link below, and it goes over why 2K has never really tried to jump back in and grab the license. It's extremely expensive and would take much, much time to start from scratch that the possible return isn't enough for most companies to take the financial risk. But with the XFL, this might not be the case. The main problem here is the league not only has to exist long enough, but it has to become popular enough to support a video game. No matter how many hardcore football fans say they would support an XFL game because they want anything other than Madden, you still have to attract a decent amount of casual gamers in order for the investment to be worth it to these game companies. Now I don't think the XFL licensing would be anywhere near as expensive as the NFL, and I think they would want a video game to help further promote their league, but in order for a company like 2K to step in, they have to feel that they can sell a decent amount of copies. If they didn't continue with All Pro Football 2K8, a game that had some of the best gameplay we've ever seen in a football game, then we know it's going to take quite a bit for them to take the leap once again. The XFL doesn't need to be anything close to the juggernaut that the NFL is, but a company like 2K has to feel that it's possible to sell at least a couple million copies of the game. I think the XFL would likely have more interest from fans than All Pro Football 2K8 did, simply because it would be a licensed game, but again, people have to care enough about the league to care enough about the video game. Simply making an XFL game for the same 100,000 people that bought 2K8 isn't something 2K is likely to do. There's also something to be said for the link that's already there between 2K and Vince McMahon, with 2K being the sole creator of the WWE games. Perhaps Vince McMahon would want to work together with 2K to see that his newest product can get put in front of more people by way of a video game. This all remains to be seen as we'd have to let the league get going in 2020 and see how it does in its first year, but even the small possibility of seeing another AAA football video game in the near future is definitely something to get excited about. So what do you guys think? Would you buy an XFL game? Do you think an XFL game can do good if the league is able to be prosperous? Let me know below how you feel about this. Check out some of these other videos here. And as always, I will see you guys next time.